Father, we thank you, we praise you, Lord, for your love, for your mercy, your goodness, O oh Lord, that surrounds us. Thank you, mighty God, for the words of wisdom that you have. And Lord, in your love, you do not choose to withhold it with yourself, but in your love, in your mercy, you have chosen to give it unto us. Thank you, Father, for taking us through this journey tonight, Lord, of your word. Truly, Father, the grace that you have made available for each one of us, this grace is your willingness to use your power, your ability on my behalf, even though I don't deserve it. And Lord, when we tap into this grace, which you have made it available for us, by a faith, when we accept it, we receive it. Lord, our lives are no longer natural, but it becomes supernatural. We thank you and we praise you, Lord, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you take control over this session, this class. Lord, you are a teacher. You speak to us, open our understanding to the word. We thank you, Holy Spirit for being in our presence, for opening our minds to understand the word. We thank you and we praise you, Father. We make this prayer in the most holy name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So uh, let's, let's go to... Brother, uh, you'll share the screen, Brother Jude? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Sorry. Okay. Praise God. So yesterday we were learning on, on how God has not given us the spirit of fear. Yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. uh, we have received the spirit of God. The spirit of faith is on the inside of us. And we are supposed to submit to God through his word. Yeah. So... Instead of confessing fear, what are we supposed to confess? Faith. What are we supposed to do with fear? We've got to resist it. So fear is not something that is coming from the inside of you and me. Fear is something, fear is a spirit, it's a demonic spirit which is on the outside trying to gain an entry on the inside of me, in my mind, trying to take control over my mind. But I am supposed to do what? Submit my thoughts, my thinking, my mind, and yield to the Spirit of God through His Word. Yeah. Okay? Now, now, you might say, I'm not afraid. I don't have any fear. Correct. Okay, maybe you don't struggle with fear, but surely there are other things in your life that is getting a hold of you. Yes. What about temper? Correct. What about judging one another? What about temptations? Yes. Now, now are we really created in that way? Or are we... No. We have received the image of God. After we got born again. Yeah. I just put 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 brother. Therefore if any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. 
old things have passed away behold all things are become new praise god therefore if any man be in christ are we all in christ yes yes so if we are in christ what are we a new creature so god has made us new now because of a new nature because of a new structure the way we have been the way we have become now satan has no power no place in us yeah but the only way he can have dominion over us in spite of god setting us free is if he can get a hold of our thinking even though god has set you free even though god has delivered you even though jesus has forgiven you but if you are not yielding yourself if you are not getting your mind to submit to what the word says then you are giving satan a hold of your mind and that is why the whole day the battlefield is where in yeah. the mind now now does the does the lord say i have given you power yeah yes yes now how many times do we confess when there is a negative thought god has given me power yeah and we don't say that do we say that no no we don't we don't say that many a times brother we have you know we we have a tendency to say uh, you know i am like this because of the environment that i stay in because i'm surrounded with irritating people that's why i have become irritating come on don't we say that yes yes we do we we want to pass the blame we want to pass the buck to everything around us except take the blame for it take the blame on myself yeah now now brother if if someone is saying i am like this because of my environment because of my uh, surrounding if brother if that was true what about jesus Yeah. He was in an environment full of rejection hostility Yeah There were so many people who who uh, you know kept coming against him so, so many people who kept giving him uh, you know cold treatment Yeah So many of them were so indifferent Now did Jesus become like the environment that he was in No or did he continue to show himself just like his father yeah. why because he was submitted to his father jesus with his by his own example he is showing us nothing on the outside can have a hold on me because of who i am on the inside brother in my life in my life when i began to understand this truth that it is not others around me that define who i am it is not others around me who decide uh, what i will do how i'll respond what defines on what decides who i am is my identity yeah. who i am on the inside please sir so no matter what the people around me said you're good for nothing you're this you're that you're a fool you're dumb it did not matter to me because if any man be made in christ if any man be in christ he is a new creature are you understanding yes please god so so now now it did not matter to me what others 
think about me it did not matter to me what my situations show me what mattered to me was who does god say i am i am what god says i am i do what god says i can do are you understanding Please, now now let's let's go back to the example of uh, elisha yeah uh, go to two kings second kings chapter 6 second kings chapter 6 was one uh no come down brother 13 okay l- let's read it from uh f- 14 14 14 therefore sent he thyta horses and chariots and a great host and they came by night and compassed the city about and when the servant of the man of god was risen early and gone forth behold an host compassed the city both with horses and chariots and his servant said unto him alas master how shall we do okay what is the servant saying alas my master shall how we shall we do now this servant when the servant of this uh, of uh, elisha was risen even he ro- woke up early and he went ahead and he saw the host and and host and uh, compassed the city both with horses and chariots mm. okay now the servant is what is he in a state of panic yeah. yes come on isn't he is in a state of panic yes he is and what is he saying alas my master how shall we do yeah and and look at the reply coming from elisha 16th verse and he answered fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them fear not for they that be with us are more a more than they that be with them yeah now now can you just imagine brother just put yourself in the place of elisha's servant correct you and i would would probably have been filled with fear too right yes you see the whole army around the whole hill <laughs> yes but 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 here's here's where i want you to pay close attention okay because there is a powerful truth that i want you to catch yeah okay elisha says fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them now is elisha in panic mode or is he calm and at peace is calm what about the servant panic yeah the servant is panicking and elisha the man of god is what he is absolutely calm elisha is very calmly telling the servant do not fear for those who are with us are more than those who are with them now brother let's say let's just imagine you are in place of that servant okay yeah okay and you hear these words coming from the master fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them now elisha and the servant if you see with their natural eyes these are the only two people correct correct yeah can you imagine how the servant must have felt yeah. when he heard these words of elisha correct 
was there any logic there was no logic he was just looking to he was looking to his physical eyes yes they were just the two of them against a whole army he might have thought my master's gone nuts nuts yeah see even see see what he says brother in the 17th verse and elisha prayed and said before the servant can get into even greater panic elisha prayed and said lord i pray you open his eyes that he may see and the lord opened the eyes of the servant praise god and when he opened the eyes of the young man of the servant what did he see he seen the whole hill the mountain was full of did he see the whole hill no the whole whole mountain the hey mountain. did he see the whole mountain no no he seen what the, did he see he seen the chariots of fire I, read it read it brother the answer is given over there read it and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about elisha ah did he only see the mountain or did he see that they were filled that mountain was filled with horses and chariots of fire around elisha are you understanding yeah now why was this servant so fearful while elisha was fearless because he could see only the natural eyes but the spiritual eyes with the spiritual eyes elisha had faith in the god so the- so what is the difference we have to see did they did they both see did they both see the same situation with the natural eyes yes both both of them saw right yeah now is elisha see can elisha see the syrian army surrounding him yes yes the servant also saw the syrian yes. army yes surrounding them but here is a situation where there is one person elisha who is absolutely fearless and the servant of his is so fearful what what is the difference that, that he is looking at his natural eyes and elisha yes with the eyes of faith yes uh, go to 2 corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 did they both see the same situation with different perception yeah yes correct while we look not at the, the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen now we just read a scripture about us being a new creature right 2 corinthians 5:17 yes now when a person has become a new creature in Christ Jesus a new creation now can that person live by the old standard of living no old standard of thinking no does he have to now change the system yes. and start living his life by faith than by living by sight by sight yes so a person who is born again who is the person who looks not at the things which are seen the person who believes in jesus yes praise god if you say i believe in jesus then you mandatorily have to look at the things which are unseen mm. if you say i believe in jesus but you look at the things which are seen then you really need to da- understand whether you are really in christ or not because if i am in christ i am not going to govern my life with the with the old standard of thinking with the with the old standard of living but from now from now onwards my life has to be governed by what the word says that's my new identity 
See, the servant saw the great, huge Syrian army, right? Yeah. But Elisha saw what? He mm -hmm. saw the army on the army of God on chariots of fire. Yeah. Are you are you understanding? Yes, yes. He saw what army of God on chariots of fire. Now both of them saw the same situation, but both of them saw it differently. So my question to you is, brother, in our life, when we see situations, do we look at the situation through the eyes of our faith, or do we look at the situation? Through the eyes of our carnal mind. A carnal mind. So, if you are in a constant fight with fear, what are we supposed to do? Meditate on the word. Submit yourself to what the word says. Submit your mind to what the word says, and resist the devil. Yes, yes. Are you understanding? Yes, please God. So when when uh, when when the word of God says that I have not given you the spirit of fear, what are we supposed to do? Believe in what the word says or go by what my sense knowledge is saying? What the word says. Praise God. Praise God. Are you, are you understanding? Yes, praise God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Okay. Yes. Um, go to uh, this same chapter the 13th verse brother okay we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written i believed and therefore i have spoken we also believe and therefore speak we also and believe and therefore, and therefore speak we speak now now uh, many a times we have the tendency brother hallelujah thank you jesus to think that if i have a situation in my life if i have a need in my life whenever there is a need or a crisis or a situation in my life now i have to start searching in the scriptures the promise of god yeah that covers my situation, right? Yeah. And and I have to uh, take that promise and I have to go on confessing that promise. Yeah. And when I confess that promise, I will get the blessing. Isn't it? Yeah. Now, if I am thinking that I have to take the promise and now confess it so that I can get the blessing. Is that faith? No. What is it? It's my work. Yeah. See, we, we, we don't understand that faith, faith works. Faith, faith is the substance. Yeah. Of things hoped for. Of things hoped for. Okay. Now, now. Uh, when when a person is diagnosed with some sickness, okay, the person then begins to start taking the scriptures and praying so that that person can get healed, right? Yeah. But that's a wrong understanding. It is not that when I take the scripture and I start confessing, I will get healed. No, the truth is you were healed by the wounds of Jesus when he died on the cross. Yeah. You were already healed. The healing was done. The healing was given 
the healing was made complete even before you could be diagnosed of that sickness are you understanding yes god if you are someone who is waiting on god for a job if you are someone who is waiting on god for a promotion if you are someone who is waiting on god for a breakthrough in whatever area of your life that healing that job that provision that breakthrough that transformation has already been made complete on the cross when jesus died and shed his blood are you understanding yes sister okay so that has already person, been provided so how does that person connect uh, yeah that's what i'm going to explain now yeah. now what jesus has already done given made available for you now you exercise your faith you extend just as how you extend your hand to take hold of something in the same way now you exercise your faith through that promise and you take possession of what has been done and given to you 2000 years ago now when you take the promise and you say thank you jesus you have supplied my needs thank you lord i receive it by faith according to philippians 4:19 i have received it now when you are taking that promise and bringing your thoughts in line with what his word says you are now extending your arm of faith and taking hold of that provision that jesus has already given it to you are you understanding it yes 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 okay and as you continue to stay on that faith i have believed and therefore i am speaking thank you jesus i have i am already blessed with a job thank you jesus i am healed i believe and i therefore speak now brother let's say if i give you for example yeah. do you do you like to eat chips yes okay now let's say brother i give you a big packet of chips Okay now when you receive that packet in your hand do you doubt no that there are no chips in that but instead of that chips there are potatoes inside <laughs> no i don't doubt no you don't doubt it right yeah so what do you do you tear it open yeah and you put yeah. your hand i do you put your hand or do you tell people around you to put it And to say, put their hand and give it to you no i put my hand you put your hand because you're holding the packet correct yeah so now when you are putting your hand inside that chips packet to get that chips out are you doubting that you are going to grab potatoes in your hand instead of chips no no so you have the confidence you know that this packet contains chips and when i put my hand i'm going to pull it out you move into action yes right in the same way everything that you and i we need to live in this life god has already provided yeah he has given unto us all things that pertains unto life and godliness yes He has already supplied all my needs through Christ Jesus. Now, where is all that? It is already deposited in my account, and all I have to do is exercise my faith through the Word and withdraw it out. Yeah. So now, when you are meditating upon the Scripture. when you are taking the scripture and you're saying thank you jesus you were wounded for my transgressions 
and because of that wound that you suffered on your body you mm. have healed me lord i take possession of this healing right now in jesus name i thank you lord that i believe i am healed lord i believe i am healed therefore i am speaking this promise as an evidence of my believing are you getting it brother yes 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 sister please god um. now when you are holding on to this promise you are speaking it because you believe god has provided your needs you are meditating upon the scripture because you know and you know that this is yours and you are taking hold of it yeah now now brother let's say let's say for example when you take a life insurance policy right yeah you you take when you take a life insurance policy uh, you have to pay a certain amount of premium year on year correct yes. right yes. so so now when you are taking uh, this uh, policy and you're paying the premium in in the terms and conditions of that policy you have something called the maturity date right yeah now will you get the amount before the maturity date no no but when it is when the date has come the maturity date has come you will get it right yes okay now let's say brother you've taken the policy and instead of you withdrawing it i try to withdraw i try to claim it from your policy will i get the money no no because i'm a third party i'm not at all yeah. i'm not entitled to it yeah right correct in the same way jesus has already paid the premiums for everything yeah jesus yeah. has already given me all my needs everything in abundance so that i can have enough for me and more than enough so that i can be i can use that to bless somebody else yeah god has already given it to me yes okay so now what god has already given it to me god says now you can withdraw it when it is matured now when does the maturity come now when as soon as as soon as there is a crisis as soon as a challenge comes up god is saying come on all that which i have provided for you i have paid the premium by my blood i have provided everything for you now in this crisis the maturity of the manifestation of that grace has come now it's it's the maturity time for you to withdraw what i have already written it in your name yes god now through the promise you open your mouth and you say jesus by your wounds i am healed and i believe it i speak it and lord i thank you i receive it right now yes, i see it manifested in my body right now now when you are saying it when you are speaking what you believe now the enemy comes and shows you through your five senses what is the lack now what is that enemy doing third party trying to withdraw what doesn't belong to him yes. are you understanding yes, yes. what does john 10 10 says the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy so what is he doing he is planting those thoughts he is bombarding your mind with those thoughts of fear so that you stop believing what the word says and you start believing what is what his fear filled thoughts is talking to you and you speak exactly that please god are you understanding yes praise the lord hallelujah jesus so so are we are we all supposed to understand that faith 
takes possession takes possession of what jesus has already given but e- now even though i have the spirit of god in me even though i have the same spirit of faith in me but i keep confessing what i'm thinking i i i keep i keep meditating upon the upon the carnal reality upon what what the natural uh, situation is if i keep on meditating upon that if i keep on thinking if i keep on dwelling upon that what will happen the enemy will eventually begin to dominate my mind even though brother jude the power is there on the inside of you and me but if my focus is not on the word i cannot withdraw that power into manifestation brother you know when i go through challenges no when i'm when i'm faced with new challenges or problems okay i praise god because now it's the maturity time of his grace praise god the promises of god that he has given to us now is the time uh, to to take hold to take possession of what he has already done for me praise god so now my thinking my thinking is lord uh, see generally brother we we think that oh now is there is a problem so i must find the word that covers my situation and i must start speaking it so that i will get the blessing yeah, yeah. but that's not what the word says mm. the promise which i am holding on to helps me and move from victory to another level of victory praise god hallelujah are you getting it yes yes praise god now i want you to go and see 2 corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 2 corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 and god is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work once again once again once again very slowly read it and, and pay attention and god is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work now is he is he saying god is able to make all grace abound towards you yeah so is god able yes god is able is he able to make some grace or all grace all grace all grace you that you always you always having all sufficiency in all things yes. that means that means i am never in a position where i am in lack praise the lord through the eyes of faith what god has done for me in the spiritual realm god has always he has he has given me everything that i need that you he says god is able to make all grace abound towards you that you always having all sufficiency in all things even though your eyes can see the lack Praise God. Are you understanding? Yes, hallelujah. That you not only have sufficient, you not only have everything, sufficiency in all things, 
you may also abound to every good work that means what you have enough to meet your needs and plus give more to others every blessing and breakthrough you need already belongs to you in christ but it is your faith that brings them from the invisible spiritual realm to the visible material realm hallelujah are you understanding yes I'm just go to uh, ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 brother sorry ephesians chapter 1 was uh, 17 17 yeah ephesians chapter 1 was 17 the, the god of our jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him hmm. the eyes of our understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of of the glory of his inheritance in the saints right okay okay read the 19th verse and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power now what is he saying the that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of glory of his inheritance in the saints yes. Yes. when you have the wisdom of god you will be able to see the answers to every problem you are facing mm. now you have the wisdom of god on the inside of you but when you meditate upon the word that's when the word that wisdom of god begins to speak back to you telling you the answers to every problem you are facing Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Yes, praise God. Okay, brother, I want you to go back. I want you to go back and revise l- what we were learning yesterday. Just go back to all the scriptures. You you have the notes with you, right? Yes, yes. Just go back to all that notes that we that we did and let's do a revision. Come on. Yeah. We went to first two Timothy one seven. Praise God. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Praise God. come on go ahead tell me come on let's let's discuss that yeah spirit is a demonic power the spirit of fear is a demonic the spirit power. of fear yes but god has not given us that demonic spirit correct and we don't operate with fear but we are supposed to submit to god and resist the devil the spirit of fear hmm. comes from the devil hmm so we need to submit to god submit to god is relying totally on on his word hmm right so so brother if according to this scripture for god has not given us the spirit of fear yeah but of power of love 
and of a sound mind that means i've got to be operating according to the new system which yeah. is of power of yeah. love and of a sound mind yeah so in any given moment if i am scared or if i am doubtful or if i am discouraged if i am disappointed that means what mm. i have allowed the devil to take hold and dominion over my mind yeah. that's why the that's why his works are manifesting correct in the form of discouragement correct in the form of worry now now brother uh, does the word of god say in romans chapter 8 verse 6 for to be carnally minded is death yeah, yeah. right does it say for to be carnally minded is equal to death no no is that come on let me go to that scripture go to that scripture romans 8:6 yes for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace okay now tell me something brother jude hmm. who will the devil come after will he come after the person who is carnally minded or hmm. will he come after the person who is spiritually minded he come after the spiritually minded so if he is coming after the spiritually minded that means that person has become what a threat to his kingdom kingdom yeah okay now is he saying for to be carnally minded is death yeah yes he is not saying for to be carnally minded is equal to death it mm. is death carnally mm. minded means what when my five senses are involved yeah and i'm going by what i see yes by what i see by what i feel for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace just as if you are carnally minded is death in the same way when you are spiritually minded you are experiencing life and peace Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Yes, What yes. is the meaning of the word peace? Peace is resting totally on God, not not caring about what what is happening around you. Okay, if you if you see, brother, the this word peace, okay, uh, in in the Hebrew. in the hebrew this word peace is called as uh, shalom shalom yeah okay which means wholeness wholeness which means wholeness nothing missing nothing broken made whole okay yeah okay it means well being it means health it being it means wholeness where there where a, 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 a situation you know a condition where there is nothing missing nothing broken so whoever was made whole the the lady with the issue of blood the 10 lepers the one leper who came back he was made hmm. whole hmm that was the peace that was given to them the whole package. yes so the 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 see we usually think we usually think of a carnal minded person who is a carnal minded person we think someone who is uh, into all kinds of addiction who is into all kinds of other sinful habits right no, no, no. and is a person who does not who is who sees who for for instance sister hmm. what with this today's teaching is all for me because see today i was supposed to have a driving test on the 28th okay hmm. and all of a sudden i got a mail today today hmm. the and i have been preparing for it okay so a lot of things depend on our driving here hmm the scope is higher things are better 
and all of a sudden i got a mail saying that you have to change your test this is the second time this has happened okay okay i was and you know so all all these days i've been telling you that i've been praying i've been speaking to god back as you you know as we are learning hmm this has been a, is 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 a total uh, you know actually a great time to spend with god you know spending more time with god and this mail comes and i get a date only for the may now see so this is february hmm march april another two and a half months hmm and i woke got so worked up and and my wife is telling me relax relax because there is a plan this is a test and there is something definitely better so i am i was only telling her that we have been every time we are coming so close to things and then you know it it is like somebody calls you in the morning and says okay you will be getting a call and then there is absolutely nothing so this is how we have been being tested sister to the point i have made a call to somebody and said okay i will take up what what is you know happening what you have spoken i will hmm. take it up. But adjust adjustment yes <laughs> praise god yeah tell me brother this is what, this is what i was how i was doing and and the lord you know because i have been i i have had a like how uh, uh, elisha seen in the hmm. spirit i have been seeing in the spirit something different hmm. a, go- a job which god has kept and i said no what eyes have not seen what ears have not heard that god has prepared for me because they will see the hand of god on me and that will be a great testimony and here i am already just just these things happen and i started to adjust myself and i was you know this is and when you started speaking today i was just telling god and i'm telling in my heart i'm so feeling so hurt that i disappointed god not to trust in him not to you know believe in what he says that he is my god he is the one who knows my end from the beginning he is the one who's going to supply what i what he has put in my heart you know i always have that feel you know have have been telling her since dubai that there will be some we will be connected to such a person that person will come and all of a sudden say this is where you have to join i don't have to work for it like how absolutely you that's you know remember how you said you got the job the place where you wanted where you desired so that has been yeah. my heart sister yeah, that's yeah. what brother uh, you see all these days of preparation all these days of preparation that we are going through of studying the word listening and you know attending the class now all this will come into practice when the battle comes yeah and when the battle comes how i respond to the battle is going to decide if i am taking possession of what jesus has done for me on the cross or if i am doubting and and risk giving all the wrong answers correct brother for a person for a person who believes what the word says okay that person will never get worked out yeah they'll never get worried they'll never get stressed out brother in in my in my life in my life there have been instances there have been situations okay uh where everything before me seemed like a dead end everything seemed like a dead end now i'm not going into the details of of those problems but i'm giving you an overview of it to tell you that there are situations even in my life where you know things have come right close you know just about at the door and when 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 that was the time when i needed to react to respond 
uh, sorry to act to respond according to the word and there was just small pressure and instead of going with the word i i went with my carnal mindedness it just lost now there was there were situations brother where i was extremely extremely vigilant to pass the test okay and and i responded to those tests according to the word and yet things did not happen right. now now when you when you when you go through a situation like that you tell god god i passed the test i did what you told me to do i believed now why why isn't it working you know the very reason the, the very statement that i say lord i did this i did that what you told me now why isn't it working that very word indicates brother i did not believe in the grace of god i believed in my own effort that is called as that is called as being carnally minded means what trusting in my own understanding and my own wisdom and walking in the counsel of my own understanding relying on my own ability relying on my own effort Please. you know you know if you if you read in in genesis after adam uh, fell okay god god said uh, in genesis chapter 3 verse 19 adam had become dust what did god say for you are dust you shall return to dust now what is the meaning of that genesis 3 19 sir yeah genesis chapter 3 verse 19 now when he is saying you are dust you shall return to dust means what adam before the fall before the fall he was what what he was he was alive to god he was a man who was sensitive who was spiritually minded yeah. now what happened there he became carnally minded man of of a flesh see 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 god gave us this body to live in yeah this body is nothing but just a home yeah it's not my eternal home it's just a place where my spirit and my soul is living is dwelling but i am not supposed to be ruled by this body i am not supposed to be ruled by being carnally minded you and i are made in the image and likeness of god created in his image and you and i are spirit beings your spirit is who you really are not your body Jesus. you know when when uh, when jesus when jesus was walking on this planet earth see the word of god says that jesus is the exact representation of the father right yeah now when you look at jesus we've got to imitate him yeah see brother when a person becomes carnally minded okay whenever the person's focus his mind his attention moves away from the word into the problem or situation whatever it is that person becomes an easy target of the devil now what happened brother to nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 the joy of the lord is my strength when when the pressure was coming for you to get all worked up did were we able to recall the joy of the lord is my strength were we able to move into action believing lord i know the end result thank you i receive i have received the job thank you lord i have i have everything every need of mine is met thank you lord i have 
the sufficiency of all things and i abound in every good work do you see do you see brother see uh, this is this is not just only for brother jude this is for me this is for each and every person because at the face of that pressure we are all vulnerable we can become an easy target if our mind is not spiritually grounded yes god we have to learn to be spiritually minded every moment every moment and when you are spiritually minded the devil cannot touch you he has no power brother he has no dominion to get you all worked up he has no authority over you until and unless you give him the power you give him the 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 permission please god are you understanding yes sister please can you please can you please write this down in bold capital letters when you put your trust in christ when you put your trust in christ and learn to be led by the holy spirit that is the word of god when you put when you put your trust in christ and learn to be led by the word of god within brackets you write down the holy spirit you will not become you will not become an easy target to the enemy did you write it down yeah when you put your trust Lost in christ time. and learn to be led by led. the word of god you will not become an easy target to the enemy now for all those of you who are struggling in any area of your life whether it is fear whether it is rejection whether it is uh, a breakthrough whatever it is the answer today the lord is giving to each one of you including me is when we put our trust in christ and learn to be led by what the word says we will not become an easy target to the enemy to try his tricks upon us of doubt and unbelief oh praise you god are you understanding yes praise god so if i have lost a battle if i have uh, become discouraged or disappointed brother see in my life in my life you know i i always wanted to uh, get into uh, you know learning and development okay into training yeah. now brother this was this was my desire and uh, you know every time every time in in my tenure in the company every time i saw myself coming real close to this breakthrough it got extended further more uh, brother i am sure i am sure brother jude you will be able to relate with me how it feels when you're just about to grab that blessing and yeah. and, and 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 start enjoying it it goes a little further away yeah absolutely right absolutely now at that moment how you respond will decide the outcome the 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 manifestation how you respond how you react will actually show you what is your level of preparedness it will actually show you if you are really 
prepared to handle that blessing if if i am not responding to that situation with joy i am still not ready to handle that blessing if if that blessing comes my way it will blow me up yes god see god wants to give you riches god wants to give you health honor peace good days he wants to give you but he does not want you to be overcome by that God is not against you having the riches he is against riches having you Brother Jude are you getting my point Yes yes sister praise God God is not against in you getting that job Yeah but he is against that job getting you praise Means God. what if if i if i don't understand if if i if i don't have if i don't place my trust in the lord then i will by default place my trust in the job yeah to meet my needs correct and that's not what god wants god wants us to trust him as his yeah God wants us to trust in him just as a as as a child trusts in his father. Yeah. He is my provider, not the job. He he is my deliverer, nobody else. Yes, God. Are you yes. understanding? Yes, yes, please God. Thank you Jesus. Uh, brother just go to proverbs chapter 3 verse 30 let let me show you now we learned in the previous scriptures that god has in ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 18 19 that god has given us the spirit of wisdom right yeah now read read from this uh, scripture proverbs 3 verse 13 onwards happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that gets understanding happy is the man that yeah. finds wisdom and the and man, the man gets that gets understanding yeah. next for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold hmm next she is more precious than rubies and all the things thou can desire are not to be compared unto her hmm next the length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor okay i want you to just color that length of days i don't think brother there is an option to just okay okay no problem no problem now i i want you to i want you to make note i want you to make note of the blessings that wisdom brings okay now what is the first one length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor so what is the first blessing that comes with wisdom length of days yeah length of days health and long life Okay. length of days health now 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 if let's say brother if you get the blessing yeah and, and you don't you, and you and you don't live long to enjoy those blessings what yeah. good are they for exactly please go so what is what what does wisdom bring the the first thing he's talking about here is length of days is in her right hand second what is that riches yes god 
that's why i was saying see god is not against you having those riches he wants to give it to you yeah but he's he, what what he is against is that that riches should not you know if if that riches manages to become or take god's place in your yeah. life then yeah. there is a problem exactly praise god are you understanding yes yes god does not want you always focusing on how how i can make money how i can uh, you know earn how i can get all my pro, uh, uh, how i can get this blessing how i can get that blessing god does not want us to be focusing on 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 uh, wealth and all of that he wants us to simply focus on him and let riches money and everything chase you amen amen yes god you know brother i have learned this truth in my life okay the best way the best way to break the love of money is to be generous praise god um, are you are you understanding yes making sure that whatever i have i learn to give brother truly that you know from the time i have understood this formula of of being of being generous of of the giving with a cheerful heart i never even for a single day or a single moment i worry about how my resources are going to come yeah hallelujah when you become a generous a cheerful giver when you use whatever you have in your hand to bless the poor to help the one who is in need the love of money cannot take any control over you praise god that's what wisdom brings that is the blessing of the wisdom now now uh, what what were we learning the spirit okay let's let's go back to that okay hold on can someone put that scripture on the chat please ephesians chapter 1 was 17 18 and 19 sister clara can you just put it please if you don't mind i think she has put it i can't yeah 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 got it got it okay okay i a uh, sister just put the 19th verse also okay now ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 is saying that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints now we all have the spirit of wisdom the spirit of understanding dwelling in each one of us so how does one tap into the blessing how does one tap into the benefits of the wisdom that god has given to us by exercising your faith yes. so what is the first blessing length of days what is the second riches what is the third honor, honor. what is the fourth read the 17th verse her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace her ways are ways of pleasantness so what is the what is the other the fourth blessing that comes with wisdom pleasantness you know brother the christian life is not meant to be a life of you know is not is not meant to be a very hard life but our mindset our thinking is we have to struggle right yeah 
But the Lord wants us to give him all our burdens. Uh, just, just go to Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, brother. Come to me, all you that are, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Okay. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Give you rest. Now, is Jesus giving each one of us an open invitation? Come unto me. Yes. But who decides whether I will go unto him or not? I decide. I decide. So when there is a pressure building up in my mind of a bad news or a crisis or, or, a, or a, a challenging or pressing problem, where do I go? Do I go unto Jesus or do I get stuck with that problem? Stuck with the problem. Go to so, plan so when that is happening, brother, where are we supposed to run first? Yeah, go to the throne. Go to the word. Now, what is he saying? Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you what? Rest. I will give you rest. Yeah. N next verse. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest into your, unto your souls. Take my yoke upon you. Now, yeah. now. You know, the meaning of yoke, what was the purpose of the yoke? The yoke is, is, is that which joins two animals to yeah. work as one. To balance. Are you yes. understanding? Yes. Yoke is, is that which joins two animals. Now, two animals are of different understanding. Correct. One wants to go left, other one wants to go right. But when a yoke is put upon those two animals, they are joined to work as one. Yeah. And who is controlling that? The person. Yeah. Okay. Now, now this yoke, this yoke is not a burden. Are you understanding? It means, it means that when I take the yoke of Christ upon me. That means I have become one in union with Christ. Now I don't have to work on my own ability. I don't have to make things happen with my effort. All I have to do is submit to Christ who is guiding me. Please, God. Are you understanding? Yes. Only when I am submitting to Jesus through his word, I find rest unto my soul. Now in my soul is where? What are there in my soul? The ability to think, the ability to feel, the emotions, my willpower, everything. Now, now any moment, any moment when I get pressurized with the problem, what part of me gets affected first, brother? Sorry, sister. When mm -hmm. I go through a pressure, when I yeah. get confronted with a crisis or challenge, which part of me gets affected first? My mind. Where is my mind? Part of my soul. And what is Jesus saying? When you come to me, if, if you are laboring and you're heavy laden and when you come unto me, I give you rest. Yeah. And when you take my yoke upon you, when you take my word and you learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your soul. Yeah. Yeah. You will not get worked up. You will not get discouraged. You will not get troubled. You will not get disheartened. Thank you, Jesus. 
you will find rest you will be refreshed are you understanding yes praise god So, is, is, is a Christian life meant to be hard? Not mm -hmm. at all. Why? Because Jesus says, you give all your burdens to me. Cast your cares upon me. Because I care for you. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Now, now, brother, this does not mean that we will not have hardships in life okay yeah. there will be trials there will be uh, tribulations all that will be there but we are supposed to take the yoke of jesus upon ourselves when we take his yoke upon ourselves when we take his word and we start learning of him keeping our mind focused on him that hardship that challenge which comes pressing against me now, it, I don't have to respond to those problems with my ability, with my effort, with my sweat. But now, Jesus takes the load of it. God. Are you understanding? Yes, praise God. Now, now go back to the Proverbs chapter 3 verse 17. So with wisdom comes what all blessings? First is life. Length yeah. of days. Yeah. Second, riches. Riches. Third, honor. Honor. Fourth, pleasantness. Fourth, pleasantness. Fifth, peace. Yeah, read that. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all, and her, all her paths are peace. Peace. You have, you experience in your life, nothing missing, nothing broken. And yeah. that's the wisdom, that's the blessing that wisdom brings. Praise God. Her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace. Br brother, just give me Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Romans 5 1. Yeah. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, being justified by faith, faith, we have what? Peace with God. Yeah. There is nothing missing. There is nothing broken in my life. My, my, my relationship with God is restored. And now that my relationship with God is restored... Because I have been justified by faith when I respond to the grace that Jesus has given me. Now, he says, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I am at peace in my mind, in my emotions. I am at peace in my relationships with one another. Now, now go back to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. Are you able to understand all of you? Yeah. Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 onwards. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of God, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of His calling. And that 
and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us ward who believe according to the working of his mighty power okay now here in the 17th verse he says that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give you may give unto you what the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him so the 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 spirit of wisdom operates when the eyes of my understanding is enlightened please go are you understanding so when when you are walking in the knowledge of his word what is happening your eyes of understanding is being enlightened yeah now 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 brother uh adam and eve's eyes were opened after they ate the fruit of the Yes. of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil correct and when they, they their eyes were opened when they ate the fruit and they realized their nakedness right yes they they saw how what kind of a lack and and what state they were in yes but before that did they ever see themselves naked no no, no. when they ate the fruit of the tree which god told them not to eat what happened they realized their nakedness yeah. now now uh, uh, go to luke chapter 24 you remember jesus walking to the village of uh, emaus with two of his disciples yeah okay yeah and come come down to verse 16 and they could not they could not recognize him yes uh, one minute brother just scroll up to uh, yeah and behold yeah read it from the 13th yeah yeah read it from the 13th verse and behold two of them went that same day to a village called emmaus which was from jerusalem about 3 score for longs and they talked together of all these things which had happened and it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned jesus himself draw drew near and went with them but their eyes were holden that they should not know him and he said unto them what manner of communications are these that you have one to another as you walk and are sad and one of them whose name was cleophas answering said unto him art thou only a stranger in jerusalem and has not known the things which are come to pass there in these days and he said unto them what things and they said unto him concerning jesus of nazareth which was a prophet mighty in deed and word before god and all the people and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him but we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed israel and beside all this today is the third day since these things were done okay go back to the 16th verse but their eyes were holden that they should not know him now jesus walked to this village with two of his disciples and what is he saying over here and it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned jesus himself drew near and went with them yeah. but their eyes were holden 
that they should not know him. They were unaware that it was Jesus walking along with them for God prevented them from recognizing him. Their yeah. eyes were holding that they should not know him. Yeah. What does this mean, sister? I'll yeah. explain it. I'll explain it. Now, now, these disciples did not know that it was Jesus walking with them. Yeah. Now, come to the the 31st, the 31 verse. And their eyes were opened. Hmm. And they knew him. And he vanished out of their sight. Now, how did this happen? See, you know, if you, when you go back to the 18th verse, Jesus, uh, go back to the 18th verse. Ah, read that, brother. And, and one of them, them whose name was Cleophas was answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem? And has not known the things which are come to pass there in these days. Okay. Now Jesus is asking them. This is an answer that this man is giving Cleopas. Okay. And he said in the 17th verse you see. And Jesus said unto them. What manner of communications are these? That yeah. you have one to another as you walk and you are sad. Now, yeah. now these both were in, were in a deep discussion about what? Oh Jesus. About Jesus. Now Jesus was dead. Yeah. He was crucified. Yeah. Okay. And then Jesus is asking them this question. Why are you? What are you guys so deeply discussing? What are you talking about? Why are you all so sad? And, and this man, Cleopas, is saying, uh, uh, don't you know? Are you the only one in Jerusalem who is unaware of all the things that has happened in the last few days? And look at what Jesus is saying. In the 19th verse. And he said unto them. What, what thing? things? Yeah. Now. Here he's saying. This man Cleopas is saying. And they said unto him concerning Jesus of Nazareth. Which was a prophet. Mighty in deed and word before God. And all the people. Now he goes on to tell Jesus of all that has happened. Yeah. Okay. Come further down. Twenty fourth verse. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even so as the women had said. But him they saw not. Next verse. When he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart, to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Out. Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart, to believe yes. all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? Is yeah. that Jesus saying? Yeah. yeah. In the 27th, what is he saying? And, and the beginning at Moses. And all the prophets. And all the prophets. He expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Now, were these, were these two disciples able to recognize Jesus? No. No. Now, did Jesus tell them, Hey, man, why can't you recognize me? I'm the same Jesus who walked with you. Did Jesus do that? No. What did Jesus do? He expounded on the scriptures, the yes. things concerning himself, yes. so that they both would see him in the word. Are you understanding? Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Where did Jesus direct them to? Jesus mm -hmm. directed them on the scriptures, the things concerning himself. 
That's yeah. why he's saying, ought not Christ to have suffered these things and enter into his glory? Mm -hmm. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, what did he do? He expounded unto them in all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. He directed them to his word because he wanted them to identify Jesus in the word. Where do we see today, brother, Jesus? Do we see him in the word? Or, or, or have we become so carnally minded that my mind gets quickly pulled on to and latched on to the things that is happening mm -hmm. around me? Yeah. Are you understanding? Yes. Oh, yes. Now, I want you to think back, Adam and Eve, when they ate of that fruit, their eyes of understanding opened up and they saw their nakedness. Mm -hmm. Here, these two disciples' eyes of understanding opened up when Jesus took their attention on the scriptures spoken about himself. Now read the 31st verse. And their eyes were opened. Ah, when did their eyes open? When Jesus expounded them on the scriptures concerning himself. And their eyes were opened and they knew him and he vanished out of their sight. Come on, each and every one of us, we are all called of God. And God wants our eyes to be opened by the Holy Spirit. Who is the spirit of wisdom and revelation? That's why, that's why meditating on his word is so essential. It is so important to receive wisdom and revelation. How did these disciples recognize when Jesus directed them back to the word? Were these not written? About me, were these not supposed to happen? Were these not spoken through prophets? Jesus wanted them to see him in the word. Are you understanding? So if I have to, if I have to tap into the wisdom and, and revelation, uh, Hello, can you hear me, brother? Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, yeah. if if God, ha if we have to tap into the wisdom, if we have to tap into the revelation that comes from the Spirit of God, what am I supposed to do? Meditate upon His Word. The Spirit of wisdom and revelation operates together with the Word of God. Are you understanding? Yes, sister. Please. Do you remember <clears throat> the scripture, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8? What did he say? What did, what did God say? This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, right? Yes. Now, before, before Moses died, he laid his hands on Joshua, right? Yeah. You will find that in, in, in the book of uh, Deuteronomy. Just go to Deuteronomy chapter 34. <clears throat> Was uh, nine. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. Hmm. Next was. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him. And he did as the Lord commanded Moses. And Joshua, the son of Nun, None. was full of the spirit of wisdom. Yes. Was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. 
Yeah. Yet in the very next chapter in Joshua 1 in verse 8 God is telling Joshua to meditate on his word day and night. Yeah. yeah. Joshua can say no to God God uh, Moses laid his hands upon me and I am full of the spirit of wisdom. Why right. I'm already full of the spirit of wisdom. Why do I need to meditate upon your word day and night? Come on. Yes, yes, you can see that. Here is Moses laying his hands upon Joshua. Joshua is now full of the spirit of wisdom. And in the very next chapter, you find God giving instruction to Joshua and saying, you meditate on this word day and night. What does this mean? It is not enough to only receive the spirit of wisdom, but we are to meditate on his word as well. The spirit of wisdom and meditating on God's word work together. They are not independent of each other. If I say I have the spirit of wisdom, I have the spirit of knowledge, I have the spirit of understanding, but I don't meditate upon the word. Sorry, it's not going to work that way. Wow. It is not a replacement. Just as how faith and patience work together, they go hand in hand. You inherit the promise, how? Through faith and patience. In the same way, you tap into the spirit of wisdom and revelation when you meditate upon the word of God. Yes, God. Are you understanding? Yes. Yes, Is it too much for y'all to take? Wow. It has been mind blowing. Now, now, brother, when and how will this word come to my rescue? Not when, not when I'm in the class, yeah. but when I'm in the battlefield. Yes. Sure. Brother, each day when I go through pressures and challenges, okay, and when I make a decision to respond according to the word of God, it is a stress-free life. It is a life of peace, of wholeness. Are you understanding? Can you please write this down in bold capital letters? The spirit of wisdom and meditating on God's word go hand in hand. Now, now, when, when I was going through challenges at work, how was I able to tap into wisdom? How did God give me the wisdom? I am already full of the spirit of wisdom. It is dwelling on the inside of me. But how do I draw it out? I draw it out when I am meditating upon that word. Do you know what is what is the meaning of the word? Uh, brother, go to Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of my out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night hmm. that thou may observe to do pause 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 yeah. this book of the law shall not depart yeah. out of your mouth yeah. but you shall meditate yeah. you shall meditate therein day and night now now when you say meditate meditate means see we we think meditation is something that i have to do with my mind and with my mouth shut Correct? Yeah. We often think that that's what meditation means. Correct. 
but but biblical meditation according to the word of god see please understand we are a new creation in christ jesus we yes. have to leave our old way of thinking and we have to confirm to the new way of thinking which is the truth yeah so the world may define meditating as something to do with my mind and not with my mouth but i don't have to go with that definition i have to understand what the word defines it as okay so according to the word of god when god is saying you shall meditate there in day and night mm. means what you don't have to you know go blank in your mind it actually means you have to fill your mouth with the word of god praise god you have to fill your mouth with the word of god and think about what you are speaking when you fill your mouth with the word of god and when you are thinking on what your mouth is speaking that is called as meditating when you are saying my god has supplied all my needs according to his riches in glory through christ jesus now what did you do you just filled your mouth with the word and now as you are speaking it my god shall supply all my needs you are thinking about what your mouth is speaking right now are you understanding yes praise god that is called as meditating but you shall meditate therein day and night and you may observe yeah and you may observe that means as you are meditating on that word on that scripture or on that promise as you are filling your mouth and speaking it and 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 paying attention thinking on what you are speaking the word of god says here you will observe you will see how to apply it in your life hmm. are you yes. understanding yes please god as you meditate on this word you will observe and see with the eyes of your heart the wisdom of god in that word did you get it yes sister please god so so brother when you are in a middle of a situation and you recall and meditate on nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 the joy of the lord is my strength you are filling your mouth with it and you are thinking as your words as those words you're thinking on those words that is coming out of your mouth now as you are meditating on it you will see how that word begins to apply in that very situation thank you jesus are you understanding yes. and that's when you will come back and say sister you know this was the challenge today and this is what i did and this is what the result came praise god praise god hallelujah so so do we need to spend time on the word yes and what we are spending time on the word do we need to be quick to apply when there is a test yes hallelujah hallelujah praise god thank you jesus so 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 get geared up brother for the next tests yes amen amen and this time make sure the 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 tests don't give you a hard time you yes. give the test a hard time amen amen hallelujah praise god thank you jesus yes anyone else who would like to share any Mr. testimony Yeah. Yes, sister, sister. Can you explain that uh, one more sentence? Sorry, sorry. But you know, sister, can you tell me the spirit of wisdom uh, and the 
word of god goes hand in hand you said no yes uh can you explain that little more please one two okay sentences. okay 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 see sister the spirit of wisdom is already upon us right within us yes okay now this spirit of wisdom which is already dwelling inside of us we we need to tap into it right yeah it, it's it's not going to automatically flow hmm we need to draw it out so yes. how do i draw out this wisdom which solves my problem hmm this drawing out of the wisdom happens when i am meditating upon the word of god okay okay now i'll i'll give you i'll give you an example hmm okay um thank you holy spirit i'm i'm just thinking which example to i'm i'm just waiting for the lord to give me which example which because there are so many uh, you know uh, in there are so many times in my life where i have been stuck and god has given me the wisdom as i have been meditating upon his word mm. thank you holy spirit which one should i share okay now do you remember thank you jesus thank you holy spirit sister do you remember the scripture that says whatever is hidden shall be brought to light yes 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 i think that is mark chapter 4 was 20 a uh, brother just give me that scripture mark chapter 4 no it uh, 22 yeah yeah I think uh, Luke eight seventeen for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest neither anything. Yeah, it's else. yeah, it's in it's in Mark four twenty two as well, sister. Yes. Okay. Hmm. For there is nothing hid hmm. which shall not be manifested. Neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. Okay. Now, now, Sister Clara, did you see that scripture? Yes, Sister. Yes. Okay. Now, now, Sister, uh, uh, one time in my office, my boss uh, came to me. Okay, and and he told me that uh, I am not able to find my passport. My passport is missing. Hmm. So I told him, "How can that be? Where did you keep it?" He said, "I've kept it in the house, and I have not taken it out anywhere. I've checked everywhere. I've checked my." cabin my desk drawers bags everything i have checked i have checked in my house also i am not able to find the passport mm. okay and uh, uh, in in 3 days or a week or so something he is supposed to be traveling abroad mm. so he came to me and he said uh, i am not able to find my passport can you please pray so mm. i said listen uh, i'm not going to pray but i'm going to show you the truth mm-hmm. so i led him to the scripture and i said see the according to mark chapter 4 verse 22 the word of god says for there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested mm-hmm. neither was anything kept secret that it should not come abroad that means according to the scripture whatever is hidden will be brought to light mm-hmm. okay so i told him come on according to this truth can you believe that wherever your passport is hidden has been brought to light now mm. so he said okay i'm willing to believe okay and we made a prayer according to that so i told him why don't you go and uh, check once again mm. he said i've checked once again but I, it's not there okay mm. so then 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 i said god give me the lord, lord you've given me the wisdom to solve mm. this problem now mm. lord how how do i tap into this wisdom that can practically give me the solution to this issue okay mm. so so sister i kept meditating upon this truth not mm. to get wisdom okay mm. but to draw out the wisdom the solution which is already on the inside of me 
okay so i kept thinking on the scripture i kept my mind focused on this and i kept believing it thank you lord wherever that passport is hidden you've brought it to light it has come mm. to light mm. it has been found already okay mm. and uh, then i went and told my boss i said listen uh, you've made two attempts of search in your house you've mm-hmm. made two attempts of search here in the office you've not been able to find it can you just make another attempt of finding of searching in the house mm-hmm. once again mm-hmm. okay so he called up his wife and he told her can you just search once again mm-hmm. okay and in the third attempt his wife found the passport in the cupboard mm-hmm. where she had been looking over and over and over again mm-hmm. but her eyes were not able to spot that passport mm. but the wisdom of god says that whatever is hidden shall be brought to light mm. so now twice through you know the 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 physical evidence says not found yeah mm. but the spiritual evidence says there is nothing hid that shall not be manifested including that passport mm. so the third attempt was what faith hmm. i said listen this word cannot fail hmm. you go and search once again hmm. so when when he went and searched his wife found it hmm. and his wife is saying how did i miss seeing this which was right in front of my eyes yeah. hmm. see it's not that sister it was hidden behind some stuff correct it is right there okay mm. but in see in that panic and all those things maybe she did not see it mm. but in the third time when i told him go and ask her to check once again now what happened the wisdom of god practically gave her the solution mm. praise god the word of god practically gave me the solution the wisdom gave me the solution telling go and ask him to search once again sister it is a very simple thing mm. it may mm. not even sound like some supernatural wisdom but that's mm. what the wisdom of god is the wisdom of god looks like foolishness to man mm. what is the big thing sister in going and uh, telling the boss go and search once again nothing it will look it, it, will it not look foolishness to him are i have already searched twice Correct. not there yes that's the wisdom of god it looks like favor of the lord right no sister yeah you yeah favor of god sister see the 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 point is that when you are meditating upon the word mm. the wisdom of god which is already on the inside of you you now begin to draw it out your eyes now begins to see how it applies into your situation specific to your need hmm. are you understanding yes sister yes you are too late i'm sorry uh, so no, i can does, that does yeah. not matter the point is that you 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 should understand yes. that's important because so much was given today and uh, you didn't to repeat once also so yeah i i'm sorry i was going in that flow but uh you can go back and listen to the teaching because this is going to speak uh, in a very personal way to you in for for each one of your situation yes yes sister i know i know that's why i didn't stop also because i was trying to figure out and write also it was difficult in the sense it was fast no no it was very good i of course we have youtube i was just telling And Praise then, sister, so I can tell. Thank you, Lord, uh, for giving us me the wisdom to solve this problem. Correct? I can tell like that. Yes. There is any, yes. Uh, If yes. you're saying thank you, God, for giving me the wisdom to solve this problem, mm. okay. If you're saying if if you're just saying that and you're stopping at that, not stepping to meditate on the Word of God, that wisdom which God has already given you to solve the problem, it will not show forth in your understanding, sister. then which That's, word i have to get which word the, i have to get the, the promise 
the promises of god now now let's say sister clara uh, uh the word of god says okay uh which one should i give thank you holy spirit now 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 let's say sister you go you go to minister to so many people right correct okay right. now you 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 meet with so many people with different issues in their life yes you don't know sister what you need to tell the person correct yes hmm? so so when 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 you are going and meeting that person do you give that person the word or do you give that person some motivational talk word word now only word you give them the word right yes now when you give them the word does that word solve the problem yes now when you are giving them the word how do you know which word to give whom because i have studied i know what to do means because i have studied accordingly it comes ah that means studying means that you have been meditating upon that word right hmm now you have seen that word working in your life how it has got you out yes how it has helped you yes now would you have been able to come to that point where you understand how that word works without you meditating upon that word no no if you are only saying thank you god i've got the wisdom i've got the wisdom but not spending time on the word will you be able uh. to understand what word to give whom in a timely season hmm so meditate means study study the yes. word oh. yes meditating means what i am studying i am speaking what i'm speaking i'm paying attention to it i'm thinking on it hmm sister from that time it is coming but i didn't stop uh, for brother jude no you tell this you know i have the mind of christ wisdom of god is formed within me i have the mind of i know i want to tell brother jude you know because uh, that was the thing that was the scripture which uh, came alive when we were in trouble and uh, also i heard that you know when you are in frustration this way that is the time god gives the gives the break yeah. yes, you god. are in the verge of you know getting break and uh, this uh, sometimes sister josephine was telling uh, you know pregnancy 9 month are you going to abort or you are keeping it this is yeah. sorry i am speaking because correct, just, correct. it was just no, no, you know that's, that's correct uh, see, see sister uh, yeah, correct sister clara i i will add on to what you are saying is see when you are saying the spirit of you know i have the mind of christ and god's wisdom is formed within me perfectly all right mm. i have the spirit of god dwelling in me this i have this i have the spirit I, i have the wisdom of god formed within me now now the wisdom of god which is formed within you has to be made understood to you in your human practical understanding correct mm. yes that wisdom which is formed within you if it is not made simple and easy for you to understand in your human understanding it will not benefit you and that's no. why we need the holy spirit that's where the holy spirit comes to help us through the word mm. so the more and more i am spending time on that word studying it meditating upon it now that word begins to speak to you it mm. speaks to me for my mm. situation mm. please go yes sister got it yeah yes. very nice very nice and sister can i ask one more thing yes sister see uh, we have to take a decision okay like uh, uh, eight parent eight groups no we are all sending the children to georgia and uh, you know actually we have to start from friday saturday and sunday one day they have to get a break after that quarantine monday the college starts in the full fledged so mm -hmm. when we are telling this other people are saying no no we need to have them here and sunday will start and it is so absurd whatever the word i don't know but it is such a silly thing uh, you know it is not uh, you know logical but you know now all of them are together and we are only like this talking you know we have to go with the flow now thinking that god you be with us you know sister now how to how to go about this go with the flow or wisdom of god i have to ask sister 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 clara i i know one thing only dead yeah. fish go with the flow 
okay okay thank you sister thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> did you thank understand you. yes Yes. So, are you going to be governed by what the world is doing, or are you going to be ah. governed by what the world is telling you to do? Thank you so much. Thank you, sister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And also, see, this sister, is yes, yeah. Yesterday, you said no. Just now, you see, you said you take up the revision yesterday. I was jumping because twice I heard your uh, this yesterday session. Okay, hmm. I was ready, but then then everything went off. You know. So nice. Yesterday's is very very nice. So 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 that's good. I think I think I I can I can pick out people in the team and uh, y'all. I can give y'all days to take the revision. I will be in the class, but I will be a participant. Ah, uh, a time. Yeah yeah. Okay. No no. I I see 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 see. Uh, Brother Jude, for how long have you been listening to the word? Yeah, many long time. Long time meaning? Meaning with you? Thirty years, forty years? <laughs> no, no, with you now for since one year. No, no, no. For, uh, since since Papa started uh, teaching, you got yeah. connected. Right. How how long? How many years has it been? Since two thousand eight nine, I think. So more than ten, twelve years. Yeah. yeah. Now oh. by now. By now, by now, brother Jude, you would have been a, you should have been a graduate. <laughs> Praise God. Right. Yeah. But if we are still in the first standard, that means the growth is not happening. Yeah. By now, by now, you you should be starting your your classes. See, I I I am I I cannot you know. Um, brother for, for me the the real potential i began to discover when i started to tap into the grace of god and i started to go by faith not knowing anything brother i did not know the bible cover to cover only the cd i had and whatever i learned in that one track i would go and teach the same thing that's it and that's how i began to grow Mm. that's why i'm saying the real understanding the real learning comes when you are in the battle now brother jude if i put you on the spot if i put somebody from the participant in the spot and i say come on take over from here tell me how many of you all will step in yeah that's true come on isn't it, it, that makes us think right yeah I am telling you, brother. This has happened with me. When I would be, when when Papa and I would go to preach, okay. When Papa and I would go to preach in 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 places, you know, there were times. There were times. One day it so happened. One day it so happened. Uh, see, I have known Papa only to preach. Yeah. Okay. So uh, one day, uh, Papa began to uh, preach, and uh, uh, after that. he just called me and he said you continue and he went off mm. now i am on the spot this is in the church oh. amongst the whole huge crowd over there yeah that was the first time i was i was caught up you know i i was caught i was i was put in a spot now now he did not do that he did not ask me to come and take over to embarrass me or to make me feel uh, you know a bad or whatever whatever it is no 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 he gave me that opportunity tell me brother which preacher will give you yeah that place correct no nobody knew. he he just called me and he said you continue from here now brother when he called me it was so unexpected i did not even know what to go and say yeah and and i told him papa i don't know what to say he said baba this is the time you'd learn to depend on the holy spirit mm -hmm. and and believe me brother that day that day i began for the first time to believe and to depend on the holy spirit that was the time i began to tap into the grace of god what did god say my grace is sufficient for you for when you are weak i am strong 
and that day brother i began to take over from uh, you know i began to continue to preach and and uh, we ended the session with healing and anointing i i, I was you know see i i was there leading it but it was not me who was doing it it was the holy spirit of god doing it through me all he needed me to do what start and the holy spirit finished it yes god are you understanding yes yes sister praise god so that's a good idea sister clara i think i will start randomly calling people from the participant and and tell them to take the revision praise god uh, revision yes don't tell us to continue okay sister revision yes why why sister okay. sister you said now you continue means see we could, i could not type what you said and you say continue from here means what i will continue that's why that's why sister that's why sister we need to learn to depend on the holy spirit uh, revision means i can study and come that's it. that's your that's that's our own ability i'm trusting in my own ability okay sister. i will do my thank homework you. and come thank you sister. you know thank but you so but when when you learn see from that from that, that time onward sister i understood that you know god just as papa called me so mm. sudden god can also call me suddenly yes and what if when he calls me and i'm not prepared so that called me that that helped me to take studying the word of god even more seriously where i'm saying lord i'm going to be- make this word as my life this is my life now when you are occupied when you are full time thinking the word speaking the word teaching the word you're so full of the word now when you are spending that time fellowshipping with the holy spirit you know the person whom you trust and now your confidence is on the lord and now you jump in yes you 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 ask uh, sister joslin okay if when you attend her class no you ask sister every day i'm seeing even in company how, well, yeah he how, does how, that only exactly sister why because because this is the training papa gave us okay not because to you know to show us that uh, you can't do it and things like that no 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 he he began to do it so that we learn to depend on the holy spirit hmm. we learn to depend on the holy spirit we learn to depend we learn to believe in the unseen okay so this is the time this is the time we've got to use to start building up ourselves to start getting trained so that whenever there is a call whenever there is a need a requirement i am ready i am ready with what i am ready with what i have learned and now i am going to yield to the holy spirit the holy spirit will show me what to say when to say how to say yes sister you know why yesterday session was so so nice that's why i went because so that you know konkani sometimes they call anybody hmm. can share that time i go and tell you know sometime okay so and not but that was the intention actually it was so so beautiful and simple yesterday and today it is now i think four days we have to take so much is there praise god <laughs> hallelujah you. thank you so so, much. Thank so sister you. so sister when we say that you you have to learn to depend on the holy spirit doesn't mean that i don't do my homework no, doesn't mean that study. i don't study now when i'm studying the word i have to learn to depend on the holy spirit to bring to my understanding to my human understanding the deep hidden secrets the mysteries of god hmm so so when i come when i come to the class it is not that sister i just come and sit over here whatever i'm studying i go you know now after this class i have to go and study yes so when i'm learning when i'm studying depending on the lord he tells me what to teach now now sister why was i taking time today to give you the example 
Hmm. Because I am asking the Holy Spirit, Lord, there are so many. Which one do you want me to say? I can tell whatever I want. There are so many, but which one do you want me to tell? Yes. Now, now, when I gave you that testimony, did you understand how the wisdom of God worked? Yes. You know that's that's how, sister. The work, you know, when when you minister, that's when the Holy Spirit takes over, and for you, it is sweatless. Yes. You don't have to worry. You don't have to panic. You don't have to sweat when I call you and say, sister, can you please take over? Sister, can you continue? Can you mm-hmm. can you take the revision? Hmm. Sister, by faith, I said yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, my brother Jude. Today, he, brother Jude came on the hot seat. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> but, but brother, isn't the truth setting us free? Yes, sister. Yes. The truth that we are knowing, what, what we are learning. Yes, very true. Praise God. So go ahead, brother Jude. Make a closing prayer. Father God, I thank and I pray you for today. It was an awesome day. Every word, every thought of mine, you knew beforehand what I needed, Lord. And truly, God, you're a God for everyone. Lord, how much you love us, how much you care for us. Lord, as I said yesterday also, you care for each and every small thing in our life, for every detail. Nothing goes unseen, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much. Thank you, God, for giving us and sharing with us the wisdom. And with the wisdom comes everything else. Thank you, Lord, that we have to seek you and your kingdom. And Lord, rest everything follows after that. Help us to build this relationship with you, Lord, to be more intimate with you, knowing you, knowing who you are. <coughs> Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you, God, for forgiving us. I repent, Lord, for my unbelief. I thank you, Lord. That we are blessed, we are anointed, we are highly favored because you are on our side. Yes, Lord. And when you are with us, who can be against us? Thank you, Jesus, for loving us, for blessing us. And thank you, Lord, for the sister Florida. Thank you, God, for increasing her in wisdom and knowledge more and more. That wherever she goes, she taps into so many souls, Lord. I thank you, Lord that you have put her in our life for a reason. Thank you, God, for teaching me to depend on you and not on my own ability. Thank you, Jesus. And make this prayer to Jesus Christ among all God's people said, Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So God bless you all. Thank you, sister. God bless you, sister. See you all tomorrow. God bless you. Good night. Good night, night, sister.